Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts, right here at the Freedom Stain at the scene of the crime, Dorito Gate. Paper bag gate and plastic bag gate. Folks, our neighbors are pigs, and I'm tired of cleaning up after them. So I had an idea this morning, right? And it might make an interesting perspective on this, because I've heard a lot of these prepper channels, and some of them are very good, and some of them aren't, just aren't my flavor. I've heard a lot of them talk about a lot of things over the last few years, and one thing I've never heard brought up that might actually be a relevant thing to add to the discussion is, is some thoughts on being homeless, okay? When you're homeless, you need a good pair of shoes because you're going to be on your feet a lot. You're going to be walking around, okay? You don't ever want to take your shoes off at night when you're sleeping because you may need to DD and get the fuck out of there real quick, or somebody may try and steal your shoes off your feet. I've seen that happen. You're going to want a good bag, and you're going to want some good clothing, stuff that's going to keep you warm or in the summertime keep you cool. You know, you're going to be doing a lot of walking, right? And you're going to be probably walking through some nasty areas if you're in a city. So having a weapon like a good fixed blade knife isn't just for preparation of your food it's you know it's it's something that you may need to use and you're going to need a way to clean water because you're not always going to have access to good drinking water right you're probably going to need some eating utensils you know because you might be at the homeless shelter eating during the day or whatever and then they kick you out at certain times so you're not always going to have access to a hot meal. Now, there's a couple of different schools of thought on this. A lot of people tell you go run out in the woods. I'm not that guy because cities are a more viable place to be homeless should this ever happen to you. You know, if you're camping out in the middle of the woods, unless you're a master survivalist and bushcrafter and all of that, you're not going to do very well. Now, some people do this very well, like Ark Wildman comes to mind in the In Yard Homestead. For the vast majority of us, we're not that. So we need to kind of do a real assessment of our skills and our skill level. So you're going to be out roaming around, right, odd hours of the day and night, because you can't always stop to find a safe place to sleep. So you're going to need to pay attention for things like abandoned buildings and local street gangs and things like that. Because if you have a high gang area in your area, you're, they're probably going to mess with you. They're going to give you trouble. And, you know, sleeping in an abandoned building might be a safe bet. Or, or camping out rough by the river. But once again, these are things you're going to have to consider. But these are just some random thoughts. And uh, one thing you're going to want to do is pay attention to your body hygiene because you're going to get dirty pretty quick. And you're also going to need to, you know, find safe places you can use the bathroom because out and about in the woods, you know, you can do it a little differently. But in a city, you know, you don't always have a safe place you can do that. So these are just ideas to consider should the worst ever happen to you, you know, maybe get you thinking. And as always... Uh, Keep calm, carry on, and if you don't like it, eat my shorts.